All right, so I just finished packing all my stuff. I have to go down and weigh it when we check out and make sure that the weight is within the limit. I think it's like 20 kilos in your under luggage and seven kilos carry on. But I didn't vlog anymore last night, but I got um, this drink. It's like a coffee, cream cheese, jelly drink. And it's kind of like boba. Um, like it has chunks of jelly in the bottom and it's actually pretty good. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty good. Anyway, we've got two hours to check out. So we're all just going to chill. And then we're going to go to Peter's auntie's room because she's staying an extra night. Probably going to jump in the pool maybe. Got to go to the shops. And then we'll have to go to the airport three hours before we leave. So we check out at 12 in the afternoon. Um, our plane leaves at like 11.50, so close to midnight. Um, so we've got like nine hours to kill between all that. And then we're going to go to the airport three hours before our plane or whatever. But yeah, so I'm just going to chill for a bit and I'll vlog if anything happens. back in Australia now um, Australians Australia's airport is really strict on photos and filming and stuff they have signs everywhere so I didn't film much but some funny stuff happened so I'm gonna like do a little story time and tell you so Bali Airport was fine we went through pretty quick got to Adelaide Airport and there's like this, there's like all different parts and Everything was fine until I went through this part where you scan your passport and get a ticket thing. So I got through first, so I was standing waiting. And then Flynn, Peter's cousin, got through next. And some guy pulled him over, checked his passport, asked me a bunch of questions. Asked who he was traveling with and because I was the only one through, he said I'm traveling with her and a few others. So he came over to me, checked my passport, asked a bunch of questions um, and whatnot. And then, so that was fine. He was kind of like cocky or whatever like he was a little bit he was like it seemed like he was nice but he was kind of like being savage at the same time so anyway we went through the next bit and he was there again and he was talking to one of his other workmates and I think this is the part where we get our luggage put through or we pick up our luggage or something like that and he was like talking to his workmate and he goes something about that girl like he was gonna be checking my shit so I was like oh great like I must seem really dodgy or something because when we went there the Australian airport did all these like every security check you can get done besides the strip search I got done so we got through to the next part and I showed my ticket and the girl and oh I forgot to say when he was asking me these questions because I bring smokes back I had one closed packet and one open packet and Flynn had one closed packet and one open packet for me so we were pretty truthful we said you know I've got two packets of smoke because on the declaration form you have to put what you're declaring and stuff and I said and Flynn said that he was carrying two pack, packets of cigarette for me as well. And the guy said, oh, are you trying to get a carton through? And I was like, no, I only have four packets. Like, I didn't lie or anything. Um, and, yeah, he put a circle on my ticket. So when the chick checked my ticket, she goes, go through there. So I went through this like, other lineup, got to the end, and I was waiting. And that guy was at that section again. And he's like, come through, put my bags up. He's like, don't touch anything, whatever. Then he got me to get my bags down. They went through this x-ray thing and they found something on it so he got me to put my bags back up again he i got my bag wrapped in bali airport so he cut the wrap off went through my bag and what came up on the scan was i had a crossword book which had a spiral um thing on it and he's like that's what came up and he just like was acting like i was like guilty of something he was asking so many questions he's like oh who paid for your trip here who'd you come with and i was like i did and he's like what do you do for work and I was like, um, I don't work, but my partner does. Oh, where's he at home with the kids? 
Oh, so you just traveling without them, yada yada yada. And I was just like, okay, whatever. So he went through my bag, said it was all fine. Then he sent me through this other section to get my bag looked at again because I had wooden stuff. So the, the guy, that guy was really cool, but I was a bit of a dickhead. Um, he came up to me like this when he like trying to grab my ticket, and I thought he was trying to shake my hand. So I like shook his hand. And he goes, oh, I just wanted your ticket. And I was like laughing. I was like, what a dickhead. So I gave him my ticket. He checked my wooden stuff. Then I came out. And yeah, it was just like a massive thing. Like they thought I was, must have thought I was dodgy or something. Um, but anyway, we got out of there, got the car. I drove the car through Adelaide back to here. Now we're at Peter's auntie's house, just chilling. And I'm about to go have a coffee with one of my friends, Zach. He used to live with us and stuff. He's like family. But he lives in Adelaide, so he asked if I wanted to catch up with coffee, so he's going to come pick me up soon. But it's going to take him like an hour to drive here, so I've still got time. So I'm, I'm having a coffee right now and just chilling. But yeah, so I don't think I could explain properly how, how it all went down. But just the way he was talking and being cocky and he followed me through the whole process to make sure he could go through my shit and like just acting like I was dodgy. It was really weird. But yeah. Also, in the airport, there was this, like, I declared that I had four packets of smokes and that Flynn had two. So, I didn't, like, try and hide it. This other guy in the airport, you get, like, a duty-free duty free section where you can buy um, a bunch of stuff like makeup, alcohol, cigarettes, whatever, without the duty. And you're only supposed to have 25 cigarettes, I think. It used to be more, 250, I think. Now it's only 25, so I had more than I was supposed to, but because I was truthful about it, they were just like, whatever, you can take it through. Because I think it's like they get more shitty if it's like a carton of cigarettes. But anyway, in the duty-free part, there was this guy um, packing his kid, little girl's bag with cigarettes because he was trying to get a carton through, so he got busted. Um, so that was kind of fucking rude and weird. Uh, it's freezing cold here, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, coming from Bali to here, it's actually not too bad at all, so that's pretty good. But anyway, I'm just hanging out here waiting for Zach to come. I'll ask him if he wants to be on the vlog. There's a possibility he might not, but I'll just like kind of like get a little snippet so you can see him. He's pretty lit. So, yeah. And since I'm giving him his stuff that I bought him, I can show you. The wooden things that I bring back are something for grandma that's wooden, a bag, and a bunch of these like wooden willies with a keychain. Because these are really popular there. He went into the room with Peter. I think they're just watching TV. And then I also got him a bracelet. So. Hey, Mr. Alpaca. Ooh, that's creepy. Stretching its neck. This is Zach. <laughs> uh, we're going for food now but I'm not going to vlog in there because Zach will be weird won't you I might vlog on my phone a bit he won't know it's nice to see you honey oh, oh. I'm going to miss you mm, I'll see you time. soon yeah we'll definitely either I'll come up there or, or I'll come up yeah you come up and stay with you yeah, whoever's free first, I guess. Mm. Keep in touch or whatever. All okay. right, have a fun drive home. Don't fall asleep at the wheel. Anyway. Thanks for catching up. That's all right. Thanks for... Love you. Love you. I'll see you soon. No worries. Much sooner than last time. Fingers crossed. No, we'll make it happen. Wow. All right, Peter's going to feed the snake. Let's do this. Mm. Up this side. Where is it? shit about the mouse, she's coming for you. You can't be bit. <laughs> yeah, we've got the kids here. Just put it on her face. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Wow.